Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today's going to be a quick preview video of my upcoming Atlantis submarine video. As you guys know, a couple of months ago we just got back from Hawaii, and this last Hawaii trip I finally did that Atlantis submarine ride at Waikiki. I've been going to Hawaii for years, but for a couple reasons I won't get into in this video, I've never taken that submarine ride, and you'll learn about that in the full video of why I've never taken it. So in this video, we are just going to look at a couple highlights of the submarine ride. You'll see some of the really cool things we saw in the submarine. You get a chance to see the submarine itself and the boat ride out to the submarine. Clear, man, clear, dive, 27 after. 27, ready on day 7 now. Da, da, da. All right, everybody, here we go, starting our descent. A uh, couple little things. First of all, why don't we quick take care of our seatbelts? <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> Jack in the bluefin trevally. Guys, those are the most aggressive fish we have here. They will bite sharks to get the sharks to leave. Um, the ones I'm going to show you today will be close to 100 pounds. The record for that is 200 pounds. So we're going to see a lot of those today. Now, both sides, take a look outside of your windows right now. Six years. Uh, you know what they use these for? To grow seaweed. So if you go in, in the use of the California, apparently in Monterey Bay, there's a lot of these. We filled this full of gravel so it wouldn't sail away. We learned our lessons with the airplane. So there's the wheel hop thing, one big flat piece of steel. If you've seen pictures of the Titanic, when they found it to what it looks like now, they've lost a lot of the ship. Okay. Again, so uh, Captain Air is using all that stuff on the bottom. So let him know where we're going to see those bricks down there. Out of port. So if you don't have any pole, you don't have any place to fish to hide. So again, that's why we sunk all that stuff on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we just toss them back. Um, that's another reason why I think there's so many of them, you know. When they're real, real little, you see. When they're real small. That, that fish you see there, that real pretty fish, that is the male parrot. The female has a different color, she has like a red head. fish there. So how come it's just the wings? Guys, when we sunk these planes, we sunk them when we made our descent. It's something in like 40 feet of water. And, oh, look at the size of that guy. It's pretty big. About, I'd say 60, 70 pounds. When we sunk these planes originally, they went down to perfect. 100%. We had them on top of a holes. It looked like this. It looked like a model airplane. I used to do a diving tour of the plane. Right side, blue stripe snapper, that white fish, the gold fish. So, guys, look at shark. Whoa, left side, white tip reef shark. That is, if you compare that shark to a tiger shark, that's like comparing a house cat to a lion. They have little teeny teeth, they sleep during the day. They're one of the few sharks that do not have to constantly swim. Um, black and white striped fish or pennant fish. Now in the front here with me, there's the wheel. Everybody, you can go in there anywhere, you can get out of there anywhere. The only way you get lost in there is if you close your eyes. And look at the beautiful fish, the white fish with the, the yellow top. Those are pyramid butterfly fish. If you've ever had a, an aquarium, a home aquarium, that's a popular fish. Oh yeah, look at the, look at now, look at the jet black uh, amber jacket. See how it turned black? Whoa, 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 let's see, he's going after something. Before sunset, there will be like 10 times more. And they hide under the catwalk. The real pretty black and white fish are pennant fish. Lots of beautiful. is 
pushing us away from that ship. So we can't hit it. All those uh, pipes there, that's where the fuel in the oil was pumped out. This is like a floating gas station. So there's that big jet black Trevelli again. Big puffer fish. Now those uh, pipes here, the biggest four eels I've ever seen in my life are on this ship. I've seen eels here as long as my lake. Beautiful orange idols, guys. That, that white, that yellow and black striped fish. And again, there's that, that. Now that rope is almost standing up straight. So right now is not a real strong current. So this would be a, a good time to go scuba diving. Now we bought that ship from the Navy for $30,000. You can buy a new car for more than that, okay? 30 grand, but we bought it to sink it. If we go less than 30 feet, we, we can, because it's, first of all, you don't see anything, and you, you get to see the shipwreck just before you hit it, so. <laughs> don't want anything that exciting. Okay, here we are, right side, the San Pedro. Right side, we're almost on those structures. So you guys, right now, the right side, look, there's nothing out there. And once we get to these structures, right now, a lot of fish. Barnard, largest reef in Oahu. But I want to talk about the left side. These structures... So what do you think? Have you ever done this? Have you ever thought of doing this? And, and let me tell you, the submarine is air conditioned, so it's nice and cool. It's not stuffy. It's not overly crowded. You can see how roomy it is. Ports are big. There's no problem seeing out the windows. It's it's really amazing. The boat ride out to the submarine because you take a boat out to meet the submarine. Very cool. There's a gift shop on the boat as well as restrooms. There's plenty of seating in the lower area of the boat, which is air conditioned. Very important. And then you have the upper area where you can look out and you know it's outside, so it's not air conditioned, but it's breezy, so it's okay. And one other quick thing, if you're thinking of doing this, before you go to Hawaii, go online to the Atlantis website. There'll be a link in the description section of this video. Look at the prices, look at the different submarine tours. And usually, if you pre-order it online before you go, there is a discount, which really helps. Especially if you're going to a couple people, you know, you can knock off $20, $30, $40. So check that out. And let me tell you, the first thing we said when we got off the boat after the submarine tour is, wow, that was pretty cool. I would do that again. Okay, so leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the full video of the submarine tour. Beam
Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube. <laughs>